Japan is a mystery. It's the ideal blending of cutting-edge technology moving at breakneck speed with centuries-old customs. Many first-time visitors to Japan are frequently shocked to discover that this very small Asian country, which is one of the world's most advanced industrialized nations, also enjoys a rich and interesting history that extends back thousands of years. In fact, Japan's Shinto and Buddhist temples were already well-established and attracting pilgrims and patrons to their ornate designs and decor long before many of Europe's most magnificent cathedrals were completed. The nation was simultaneously honing its trades and talents in everything. From fine porcelain and pottery, to fabrics like silk that would put it on the path to wealth. Discover the best places to visit in the country with our list of the top tourist attractions in Japan. Before starting, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. Number 10. Sapporo, Hokkaido. The city of Sapporo, which located on the northernmost island of Japan, Hokkaido, has a lot to offer tourists. It serves as the cultural center of the island and is home to numerous fantastic events and festivals. Additionally, it has a unique culinary scene, a lengthy theatrical tradition, and a ton of museums, galleries, and parks. The charming downtown portion of the city, which is centered around Odori Park, a sizable patch of green that's a lot of fun to explore, is the main focus of this place. From here, you can also easily walk to nearby attractions including the Sapporo TV Tower and the city's renowned aerial tramway. Eventually, the Mount Moiwe ropeway will take you to the summit's upper station, from which you may take in breathtaking views over the city, which is especially enjoyable at night. Number 9. The Atsuta Shrine, Nagoya. The most significant Shinto temple in Japan is the Atsuta Shrine, which is located in the center of Nagoya, and receives more than 5 million visitors annually. This sacred shrine, which dates back to the first century, is well known for having one of only three intact examples of the grass mowing sword, an imperial emblem. Number 8. Chubu Sangaku National Park. There are several exceptional natural places in Japan, many of which have been classified as national parks or, in some cases, UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Shibu Sangaku National Park, located in the heart of Honshu, is one of the most breathtaking in the entire nation. The Hida Mountains, also known as the Japanese Alps, are a collection of mountains that are situated in the park's northern and central parts. Some of the tallest mountains in the nation, including Hotaka and Yari, are found in this area. Number 7. Osaka Castle. The greatest and most significant stronghold in the nation at the time was Osaka Castle, which Tayutomi Hideyoshi, a prominent Japanese warrior and politician, built in 1586. Despite having been repeatedly demolished and rebuilt since then, the current building, constructed in 1931, stays loyal to the original. A visit should not be missed to see the massive, five-story, 42-meter-tall main tower. A number of exhibits tracing the history of the castle, and the city are housed in the tower, which is constructed on an imposing 14-meter-tall stone base. Visit the top level for its magnificent views of Osaka, which are especially lovely as the sun sets. Number 6. Temple City. The picturesque, pristine city of Nara, which served as the center of Japanese culture for centuries, is home to several historic structures, significant national treasures, and works of art. The city is home to various significant antique temples in addition to its numerous historic streets. These include the majestic Kofuku-ji Temple from the 7th century, which is arguably the best known of Nara's seven great temples, and the spectacular Todai-ji from the 8th century, which is well known for the enormous bronze statue of the Great Buddha that was cast there in AD 749. Number 5. The Island Shrine of Itsukashima, Mayajima. The island of Mayajima, often known as Japan's Shrine Island, is only a short ferry journey from Hiroshima's mainland. Mayajima is a 30-square-kilometer island in Hiroshima Bay best known for being the location of the Itsukashima Shrine, a Shinto shrine honoring the princess daughters of the wind god Suzano. The majority of the shrine's structures, which date to the 8th century, stand out of the water in a small bay supported only by piles. At high tide, these constructions, especially the well-known Great Floating Gate, appear to be floating on water, which is a truly amazing effect. Number 4. Historic Kyoto. Lovely Kyoto, one of Japan's most popular destinations more than 10 million people. Visit one of the few cities in the nation untouched by the carnage of World War II each year. 
The majority of them are in Kyoto to see its beautiful old streets and buildings. Much of which has been untouched since the imperial dynasty moved in more than 1,000 years ago. The city was already the most significant cultural hub in Japan at the time. In reality, this legacy is still present today in the numerous museums and galleries that are home to significant sculptures, paintings, and other works of art. Number 3. Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park. A much may be written about the extraordinary efforts this dynamic city has taken to remember the numerous victims of the world's first nuclear strike. Even though nothing needs to be said about the atrocities of the atomic bombing of Hiroshima in August 1945. Hiroshima has come to represent long-lasting peace, which is perhaps even more significant. In what was once a lively area of the city, Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park is visited by more than a million people annually, many of whom come from abroad. There are numerous significant memorials, museums, and monuments in this area dedicated to the events of that tragic day. Number 2. Imperial Tokyo. When visiting the nation's capital, you absolutely must see the Imperial Palace, which is Tokyo's most well-known site. It has stunning 17th-century parks that are encircled by walls and moats. Don't let the fact that most of the palace is off-limits to the general public deter you, there is still plenty to see just by wandering the grounds. Visitors are allowed in the East Higashi Gyoen Garden and other sections that are available to the public as part of an arranged tour. In addition to the countless lovely views of the palace from various locations in the surrounding parkland. The renowned Naijibashi Bridge, often known as the Double Bridge, is one of the most attractive views because of its watery reflection. Number 1. Mount Fuji. Majestic Mount Fuji is not only Japan's highest mountain peak, but also without a doubt its most well-known landmark. This spectacular and legendary mountain, which rises 3,776 meters over an otherwise mainly flat landscape to the south and east, is tall enough to be visible from Tokyo, more than 100 kilometers distant. Since Mount Fuji has been praised in literature and art for ages, it is now regarded as such a significant icon that, in 2013, UNESCO recognized its global cultural value. More than a million people climb Mount Fuji every summer as a form of pilgrimage that culminates in viewing the sunrise from its peak. Mount Fuji is a part of the Fuji Hakone Izu National Park. This is it for today's video. Which place do you like the most? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. Thanks for watching.